The Ranger is one of the coolest looking towers in the game and has a total of 15 skins. In this video, I'll be showcasing every single level of every single skin and giving my personal ranking of how good they are. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get started. Starting off, of course, we have the default Ranger. At level 0, it is a giant laser gun, a black outfit, some headphones, and a hat. At level 1, it gets a pair of black gloves. At level 2, it gets a neon blue glass on its left eye and it has a backpack with a signal coming out of it. At level 3, it now has a hood and a face mask. And at level 4, it now has a different pose, a much bigger gun and a much bigger backpack with some neon lights. Compared to other towers, the Ranger looks fantastic and is one of the coolest looking towers in the game. However, as a skin for the Ranger, the default Ranger kind of sucks, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Blue Ranger. I'm not going to show every level of the skin because it's pretty much the same thing but blue. And if I'm being honest, I think this blue color looks worse than the black. So, 4 out of 10. Next up, we have the Green Ranger. Just like the Blue Ranger, I'm not going to be showing every level of the skin because it's the same thing but green. And honestly, I think this looks even worse than the blue one, so I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10. Next up, we have the Black Ops Ranger. At level 0, it has a cowboy hat, a long skinny gun, and a black outfit. At level 1, it gets a pair of light brown gloves. At level 2, it gets a pair of binoculars with 4 lenses, and it it's a backpack with an antenna. At level 3, its hat turns into a helmet and it gets a face mask. And at max level, its backpack is replaced by a brown briefcase. This skin is pretty nice, and I especially like the gun, which has a pretty unique design, and the goggles, which make it look kind of creepy. However, it's not the most flashy skin, and there isn't an awful lot going on, so I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Railgunner Ranger. At level 0, it has a dark green outfit. Its laser gun has been replaced with a huge railgun, which has a really cool custom design. At level 1, it gets some gray protective pads across its body. At level 2, it gets a big gray battery on its back with a little antenna. At level 3, it gets a little radio on its head and a couple of nodes sticking out of its backpack. And at max level, its gun gets a darker color. Its outfit turns purple, and his backpack now has two antennas sticking out of it. In my opinion, this skin looks awesome. While I'm not so sure how to feel about the earlier levels, the max level looks amazing with its purple design and awesome looking gun. This skin is also going to be getting a cool custom animation for its gun in the future, however, I'm not sure when that's coming. I'm going to be giving this skin an 8 out of 10, only because I don't really like the earlier levels. However, really cool skin. Next up, we have the Wraith Ranger. It has a white and gray outfit, a gray hat, some headphones, and a face mask. It also has the number 12 all over its outfit. At level 1, it gets a pair of black gloves. At level 2, it gets a robotic left eye, and it gets a white backpack with the number 12 on it. At level 3, its face is completely covered by a robotic mask with three eyes, and it now has a black hood covering its head. And at max level, it now has a much bigger backpack and gun. There really isn't anything bad about this skin. The colors are really clean, I love the details, and every level looks really good. Because of that, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the Partisan Ranger. It has an old school military design, with a green outfit, green green cap, and an old looking gun. At level 1, it gets a pair of brown gloves. At level 2, it gets a neon yellow goggle on its left eye, and as a backpack with an antenna. At level 3, it now has a bonnet instead of a cap, a gray face mask, a metal trinket, and a red band on its arm. And at max level, not much changes except for the fact that it now has a much bigger gun. While the quality of the skin is pretty good, it's pretty boring compared to the other skins. There's not an awful lot going on, and not much changes as you upgrade it. Because of this, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Next up, you have the Valentine's Ranger. It has a pink Valentine's themed outfit, a pink gun, and a hat with wings on it. At level 1, it gets a pair of maroon gloves. At level 2, it gets a backpack with some wings and a pink visor over its face. At level 3, it gets a pink feather on its hat. At max level, its gun becomes way bigger, has an extra pair of wings, and the wings on its back become a lot bigger. The design of the skin is insane. There are so many amazing details, the quality is fantastic, and I love everything about it. Undoubtedly, this is a 10 out of 10 skin. Next up, we have the Bunny Ranger. At level 0, it has a pink outfit, a pink and white gun, some bunny ears, and a furry uwu face or something. At level 1, it gets a pair of white gloves. At level 2, he has a pink goggle on his left eye, and a carrot as a backpack. At level 3, his outfit turns white, and it now has a hood over his head. And at max level, it now has an upgraded gun and a different pose. I know I just gave the last skin a 10 out of 10, but I think the skin also looks amazing. It's a perfect combination of cool and... It's a perfect combination of cool and goofy, and I really love the color palette, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the Gun Gale Ranger. At level 0, it has blue anime hair, a green outfit, and a pretty basic looking sniper rifle. At level 1, it gets a pair of brown gloves. At level 2, it gets a blue lens on its left eye and a little bag on its back. At level 3, it gets a white scarf on its back. And at max level, it gets a much bigger gun and backpack. If I'm being honest, I think this skin's kind of boring. The colors don't match together that much, and there really isn't an awful lot going on. There's barely any difference between the upgrades, 
and it honestly just looks like a sniper skin. I'm gonna have to give the skin a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Dark Matter Ranger. At level 0, it has black skin, a gray outfit, and a black and neon pink railgun. At level 1, it gets a pair of gray gloves. At level 2, it gets a cool white and neon pink face mask, and it gets two white tubes on its back. At level 3, its face mask changes appearance, and at max level, it gets a much bigger gun, a different pose, and its eyes are now outlined with white. I think this skin looks really cool, and honestly, the only complaint I have about it is at max level, I think the eyes look a little bit goofy. But I think the contrast between the darkness and the light pink neon makes for a really cool color combination. Because of that, I'm going to give this skin a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have the Frost Ranger. At level 0, it has a ski mask, headphones, a white winter coat, and a blue and black gun. At level 1, it gets a pair of black gloves. At level 2, it gets a blue ski mask and an icy backpack. At level 3, it gets a white hood and some ice spikes sticking out of its head. And at max level, it now has a much bigger gun, bigger ice spikes, and a propane tank on its back. This is a really nice skin. The huge ice spikes make it look really cool, and the only thing I don't like about the max level is the red propane tank as it kind of sticks out. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Still, really nice skin. Next up, we have the Eclipse Ranger. At level 0, it has a purple and yellow outfit, a snazzy cowboy hat, and a really fancy white and golden gun. At level 1, it gets a pair of black gloves. At level 2, it gets some neon yellow spider eyes and a backpack with an antenna. At level 3, its face is now completely covered with a black mask. And at max level, it has a much larger gun, and its backpack now has some neon yellow lights on it. This skin is super clean, and I think the colors of the gun are fantastic. The spider eyes give it a lot of character, and the purple plus gold is a pretty unique color combination. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have the Classic Ranger. At level 0, it has a dark green outfit and a fedora. At level 1, it gets a pair of black gloves. At level 2, its outfit turns red, and it gets a neon white lens in its left eye. At level 3, it gets a black face mask, and at max level, its hat is now much bigger, and it has a red cape. This skin is supposed to look like the previous design of the Ranger before it got reworked. I think that's a pretty cool reference, however, as an actual skin design, I think the earlier levels are really boring, and the max level is pretty cool, but not too special. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have the Pumpkin Ranger. At level 0, it has a scarecrow hat, a pumpkin head, a raggedy gray shirt, and an old school looking sniper rifle. At level 1, it gets a pair of brown gloves. At level 2, nothing really changes. At level 3, it gets a black vest. And at max level, it gets a bigger gun with some neon lights. I feel like they definitely could have cooked a lot better with the skin. The concept of a pumpkin head is really cool, and I do think the design is pretty clean. However, almost nothing changes as you upgrade it, and there's nothing too special that makes the skin stand out. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Beast Slayer Ranger. At level 0, it's wearing the fur coat of a bear. It's a blue shirt and is using a crossbow as a weapon. At level 1, it gets a pair of brown fuzzy gloves. At level 2, it gets a shield strapped on his back. But I low-key forgot to record it, my bad. At level 3, his fur turns gray and it now has some horns. And at max level, the fur turns back to being brown and has a much bigger crossbow. I think all the levels in the skin look really cool. However, I'm a little bit disappointed with the max level. I would have personally preferred if it got black fur and some red eyes, but this is still a nice skin, so 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the Phantom Ranger. At level 0, as a black outfit, black hood, black mask covering his face, and a red visor. At level 1, it gets some black and red gloves with some knuckle pads. At level 2, it gets a light gray backpack and some binoculars on its hood. At level 3, its face mask turns gray and looks like a skull. And at max level, its gun and face mask have both turned red. This skin is so intimidating and has such an awesome design. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I love black and red skins. This is just such a cool color combination. In my opinion, this is an easy 10 out of 10 skin and might be the only skin that can compete with the Valentine's Ranger. But finally, last but definitely not least, we have the Propellers Ranger. This skin is based on the content creator Propellers, and at level 0 it has brown hair, a worried face, a blue shirt with a white flannel, and a blue gun. At level 1 it gets a pair of grey gloves, at level 2 he gets a big ol' backpack and a helmet, at level 3 it now has some blue ski goggles on his helmet and some red straps coming from his jacket, and at max level the backpack becomes giant freaking enormous, and also has a bunch of stickers attached to it. This is a really neat skin, and probably my favorite content creator skin. It's really goofy, and there are a lot of small details that mean a lot to his channel. So, because of that, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. There's not really anything I can complain about, I love the details, and I think it's a cool skin. But with that, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these skins is your favorite. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. And if you want to talk to me, consider joining my Discord. There's a link pinned in the comments. And finally, thanks to these channel members for supporting my content and helping me make these videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.